Anytime we have a guest on Michigan Weekend to talk about food, especially something like smoked fish, he's got to be a very special guest. And uh, we do have a special guest with us indeed, Bob Musselman, who is a food smoking expert. He teaches food smoking classes, fishing classes, all sorts of things down in the Kalamazoo, Battle Creek area. Bob, you have here, you've said that with a very simple smoker, some hickory chips, uh, we can make some smoked salmon. We can do the whole thing with it. Okay, we're going to do that. Of course, the hard part, I found this past weekend, the hard part is getting a hold of the salmon. Oh, my luck was bum. But you had a little better luck a few weeks ago. Why don't you tell us here about how you go about preparing a salmon to smoke? Okay, I'm cutting up a, uh, a jack salmon there, Fred. That's probably about a three-pound fish. We're cutting it into steaks. Now, is a smaller one better than a bigger one? No, it isn't. It just happens to be the size I had. I would prefer to have a larger fish. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're cutting it up there, and then we're going to be putting it into the, the brine in a minute. So you don't have to take the skin off or debone it, anything like no, that? No, we don't. We don't even scale it, Fred. But you do clean it? We do clean it. Okay, so it's cut into sections. What are those, about inch and a half, two inches thick? About that, yes. Uh, I don't like to get them any thicker than that. It takes too long to smoke them then. Now, what is the brine comprised of? What I'm doing there is making brine, and that's uh, water with some salt in it. We use, uh, to every quart of water, we use a half a, half a cup of salt and a half a cup of sugar. And White sugar or brown sugar? Uh, we can use either one. I believe I'm using brown sugar there, but we can use either one, Fred. Well, let's see. I think we've got a mix. Is this a mixture? So that's sort of a mixture there, yes. I had some white sugar, and I put a little bit of brown sugar in with it. Would it change the flavor if you use just one? It won't change the flavor, but the brown, the brown sugar will give it a golden cast. Oh. It'll look better to eat. Oh. It won't taste any better, but it looks better. What does the brining... Why, why do you do the brining before you smoke okay. the salmon? Brining injects some flavor into it. It injects a, a salt and, and a sweet flavor. Uh, the main reason for brining is it preserves the fish. How long do you leave the fish in the brine? I leave salmon in about 12 to 14 hours. Do you have to have the brine at any particular temperature? Should it be warm or cold or what? It's a good idea uh, in the summer to put it in the refrigerator because we don't want that brine going stale. Mm -hmm. In the winter time, it wouldn't make any difference. You could have it outdoors or, or in the basement, for instance, if it's cool enough down there. but. In the hot summer, I would recommend that uh, a person, at least when you're, when you're doing salmon 12, 14 hours, that you have it in the refrigerator. Now, what is the difference now between the fish that comes out of the brine uh, and the fish before? Well, when it comes out of the brine, it has salt injected all the way into the, the very center of it, Fred. And uh, you can see right there, I'm. I'm rinsing the brine off so that there aren't any salt crystals on the outside. We don't rinse it thoroughly. We just give it a quick rinse, and then we dry it off with paper towels. If you rinsed it too much, would you take the salt out? You sure would, and you'd be putting fresh water back in. You don't want to do that. So just very, very quickly, quick yes, rinse. Yes, that's right, a very quick rinse. Then what is the next step? Okay, you just saw what I was doing there. With paper towels, I was patting the fish dry. We want to dry it out. And now I'm putting it on the racks. It's going to set on the racks for about 45 minutes drying. Is that an important step? Could you pop it in the smoker right now? or You could, but then, uh, then you won't have the pellicle form. And this is a good time to talk about the pellicle, Fred. Uh, the pellicle forms after about 45 minutes, and that's a shiny coating on the outside of the fish. It's sticky to the touch. Huh. And when it's sticky to the touch, you'll know that it's ready to put into the smoker. And uh, how far ahead do you have to start the smoker? Oh, about five minutes. About five minutes and it'll be smoking and then we put the fish in the smoker. Should you preheat a smoker or can you put it in cold? It's a good idea to preheat it because then, then you'll be timing it. Uh, timing is quite important here. Now, is the pellicle formed on that? That's been sitting about 45 yes, minutes? Yes, it has. Uh, I touched it there and, and it was sticky, so it's all set to go into the smoker now. So the, the, the smoking doesn't preserve it, the brining does? The brining and the smoking preserve it. There are some things that we don't brine. Uh, for instance, cheese we don't brine, mm -hmm. and uh, the smoking preserves it. So the combination of smoking and brining preserve it. Okay, so here we go taking the 
salmon, putting it into the smoker for about how long? I put it in about six to six and a half hours, Fred, and then it comes out and I put it in the oven about 20 minutes at 350 degrees, and then she's ready to eat. Well, I've heard that some people smoke it for maybe 12 hours or so. I would rather uh, smoke it a shorter period of time and then put it in the oven at 350 degrees to make sure that it's cooked thoroughly. So there is a chance of, uh, of what? What's the problem with just smoking it? Oh, there would be a chance, a possibility of botulism, and we just want to eliminate that possibility. Just to play it extra safe. That's right. Okay. Well, the, the, before we get into the salmon here, which we have in the smoker, the chips that you use, you use hickory chips for the salmon that we're going to taste? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, that's from a plain old hickory tree. We don't use the bark. They debark the tree and then... And then uh, make it just about like sawdust. Well, they sell a wide variety of chips, cherry, apple, a lot of different things. Does it really give a different flavor to the? Yes, it does. Uh, it's best to use hickory for fish. Now, for game like uh, pheasants and game hen, we'll use apple, and hmm. for red meats, we we'll use cherry. Well, you're going to be back with us to do some game recipes yet this fall, smoking. But let's let's get in here, Bob. Find out, Kathy. Why don't you come over here? Let's taste some of this. Here it is. In fact, this is some of the salmon that you... Smells good. Try this out. Now, Bob, while well, This Kathy's... is a jack salmon, Kathy. While she's tasting that, you have some...